Yeah, just a couple of comments. Uh, when I was first playing Destiny Arbiter in Halo 2, it got me thinking that I would uh, be playing as undercovered species in later games. If you think you're going to explore the possibility of doing that? Uh, well, obviously, what we've shown off in Halo 4 so far uh, has to do with Master Chief, obviously coming back into the action. Uh, and I think we all had a good time with the Arbiter in Halo 2. Uh, but right now, we're talking about Master Chief. Uh, and kind of getting him back into the fight. So nothing to talk about for getting into the game. Yeah, so um, doing that uh, space battle in uh, the Reach's campaign was kicked ass. It really did. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, actually, one other thing I, I might mention for any Covenant sympathizers out there uh, is that uh, we do have a, a new book coming out, Karen Travis's Glasslands. Uh, it's landing in very, very short order. Uh, and for anybody who's curious about what's going on in the Halo universe after Halo 3, uh, and in some of those settings where Master Chief might be hanging out, uh, that might be an interesting read. She's done actually a really great job. And it's, uh, it's a messy place, the universe, at the end of Halo 3. Uh, and there's some interesting, oh dude, check these guys out. Actually, they got a couple from a tour who was handing them out earlier, so. Oh, nice! Um, get I haven't seen that. Nobody, get them, Gus. 
yeah. So if you ask those guys really nice, they might tell you a little bit about it. But, uh, but it's, a, it's a really good book, and uh, it's a really exciting addition to the universe. I'm really excited to have Karen uh, come on board with us. Yeah, I hope, I hope it's more of those in-game space battles. And um, also, uh, Dr. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at all those people behind you. We only have five minutes left. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, yeah, tell Maki to keep up the good work. Okay. Thank we'll do. You. Thank you. you. I know how you guys retooled the pistol for Anniversary Edition and made it as strong as it was in the first game, and I'm a bit of a needler for it. So did you fix this, like the targeting on that and the power on that or not? Ooh, this Gus? <laughs> I always found a needler to be good comic relief. Um, it's like, oh, you're going to kill me? I'm going to shoot around you. So I hope the targeting stays the same and stays authentic and original for comedy's sake. There you go. Thank you. Hi. I think it was a great answer. Uh, one in campaign. Uh, can you play with your friends, like up to four people, like in region three? Uh, no, we've got uh, we do have co-op over Xbox Live, mm -hmm. uh, but it is only it's two players. I shouldn't say only two players. The original game was designed for two-player co-op, uh, and that was one of the things that we looked at in the course of development was do we want to add to get up to four to to bring it up to parity with reach. Um, but if you add two more people in there, you really need to change the, the gameplay. You need to change the encounters, because like a fight that's fun for two people and challenging is a cakewalk for four. Uh, and that would have involved going in and cracking and changing where they placed all of the, uh, the enemies and where they, you know, all those encounter spaces, and that was something that we weren't going to do. Because yeah, even if you're uh, opening true. cinematic, I mean, if you're playing uh, co-op, you'll have two cryo tubes. Yes, your cheeks pop out, right? So there's all these little things that we have to take into account, aside from gameplay, which is that that core mechanic we did not want to change. And also in Firefight, will we have Firefight voices again? I'm sorry, will we What was the question? Uh, will we have Firefight voices, like in Reach? Uh, yes. Will we have some red versus blue? Uh, we hate those guys, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Download our podcast and listen to it. It'll be the same, like the yeah. same thing. <laughs> the newly rebranded podcast. I am totally starting my own drunk tank podcast. Uh, I've got two super quick questions. Uh, one, it was said that the Kinect wasn't going to be necessary to enjoy all the features in Anniversary. So what button is mapped to analyze? Uh, by default. So analyze will only be available if you have Kinect. Experience. So going back in, you have you get the absolute game that you had before, uh, but this is one of the one of the additional things. So yeah, so it won't be available if you don't have Connect. But you got the encyclopedia. There's some other options out there. So we have all the information from the waypoint. Again, it's one of those things where if we added a button for Connect, then we get into what did that button <laughs> used to do and get into the right. some of that gameplay. Look so what Gus brought. It was not. I mean, it wasn't an easy call. Honestly, yeah, we, we wanted to try to find. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, uh, both for Rooster Teeth and for Bubble Tree, where are your job listings? Um, it's actually on, on Halo Waypoint at the bottom. Go all the way down the bottom. It says three different jobs. Click on that. I look, I look at them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we don't. Is Rooster Teeth doing any kind of internship or anything? Direct right Gus, is Rooster Teeth doing any kind of internships or job things? Yeah. Yes, if you read our FAC, you can uh, find all that information. Roosterteeth.com slash FAC. Thank you. Yeah. Well, good question. Even the one we didn't like. Hello there. Um, first off, I have two questions, but they're similar. They involve the, the the short stories in the motion comics. Will there be more comic? Will there be more of the stories, but based on the bitter books like Fall of Reach? If not the whole book, like some of your favorite chapters. That, uh, we haven't, we can't announce anything, we don't have anything that we're talking about right now, but if we were to make one, what would you like? Well, I do like Contact Harvest and Cold for a Call. I like those too. And another one, I noticed in the Mona Lisa that some of the motion looked more regular animation than just motion comic. Will there be some of those stories actually in other formats like live action or animation? Not anime, but regular animation, like cartoons. Same answer. We don't have anything to talk about right now about it. 
But I'm glad that you like it. We love it. One thing, I mean, that is anniversary related is if you go up to uh, Waypoint and check out the videos for the terminals, uh, those kind of started, the theory was that those were going to start as motion comics, kind of like the ones that we've done in Waypoint elsewhere. Uh, but the guys at the sequence group kind of went way above and beyond. Uh, and they turned into pretty much just straight animation and some really cool things that we've never seen before in the Halo universe. So, yeah, uh, anniversaries can have a pretty good taste of that for you. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, if you for. can't get enough comics, terminals is your thing. Thanks. For right now. Thank you for asking. I think we have one more question. Two more questions. Paul, Sorry, Paul guys. Paul said too. So, Paul said too. And we all know Paul's in charge. Uh, so, I'm a huge fan of like, the whole series as it's gone along. Mm -hmm. I think some of the decisions Bundy's made in the last few years have been a little questionable sometimes. Really happy about what Before 3 has done so far. But, what do you guys do with the music? Where's Marty? I know he's not in 3 3 so Marty's at Bungie. Yeah, so who's next? Yeah, that's, um, I mean, i got to admit, those are, those are great big shoes to fill. Obviously, Marty's tunes uh, are a huge part of, of what's made Halo kind of the, the, the iconic. Uh, experience that it is, and so we've got a lot of work to do. I mean, a lot of those things. Uh, obviously, Bungie did a, such an amazing job with Halo in the first 10 years in music, <laughs> and design, and art, and all that kind of stuff. And our job is to give you guys a Halo 4, and a 5, and a 6 that's at least as good, uh, or if you're job right better. So, yeah. And when we, we talk a little bit about the music in the Halo 4 panel um, from Halo Fest, uh, Tajin is up there, so if you go back to Halo Waypoint and look at that, they address a little bit of that question a little bit more with the guy who's charged with doing it. But in the meantime, we did double down on Marty for anniversary, <laughs> so you get two servings. Two Martys for the price of one. Thank you. Thanks, man. This sounds like Waypoint's an excellent destination for all the Halo news you need. Doesn't this it? Guy. This guy. last question, so there's no pressure. No pressure. Make it good. God damn it. <laughs> First of all, thank you. Everyone in this room thinks you're all fantastic. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, actually, we've been getting a lot of great feedback. Um, it certainly has uh, uh, opened up some issues that we're looking at. Uh, one of the beautiful things about the way that uh, Bungie architected the multiplayer system, in particular the hoppers, is we can go in and we have a whole bunch of settings that we can tweak on as we learn more about what uh, the, the uh, title update has introduced. Um, so we're doing that right now. We're continuing to work on that. Uh, part of my team's responsibility is to manage that. Um, so uh, I think you'll see some some interesting uh, minor twists and, and changes uh, to kind of tweak it in. But uh, overall, I think uh, the feedback we're hearing loud and clear is the TU is a big improvement uh, over no TU. Um, and the Zero Bloom uh, is an interesting addition that, that changes some things. And overall, I don't think we recover from that change, but net plus is bigger than minus. And uh, when will the title update be finished? Well, the title update, um, yeah, I think what you're referring to is one of the hoppers. The hoppers? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, November 15th, right, is when everything goes live, so that's the day that we go uh, from no longer being beta to being final. Thanks. Nice. And remember for sure that this is just the beginning. Uh, of how we're going to be monitoring kind of the health of reach online and multiplayer and making some of these kinds of changes. And like Doug said, we are absolutely, you guys saw the note in the video earlier about the Waypoint forums improving and what we're using your feedback to do. Uh, so if you have thoughts on it, express it respectfully and nicely as everybody does on the internet. But, um, <laughs> but do that because we're just getting started with this and we're going to keep improving and keep making things better. I think we should close with Kevin Ray singing his favorite internet song. No, we don't want to sing any songs. It's okay to not like things. Man, Alice is in trouble. So you guys have seen the YouTube video that it's okay to not like things? It's
it's okay, but don't be a dick about it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it. In it's summary, it's okay to not like things, don't be a dick about it. We love you. Thank you for coming. Thanks guys for coming. Enjoy your anniversary, November 15th. Happy birthday, Master Chief. <laughs>